Hello, welcome back to Legend of Doom. Last time we took on uh, level 6. Had to make a couple of trips into there, because I missed the dungeon item the first time. Uh, but here we are back in front of dungeon 5, when I finally tackle this. Should not be difficult after 6. I, I hate with robes in this game. <laughs> Alright. See what we got in here. Old voice, cool. Oh yeah, we also got the magic sword last part. Are they weak to the bow? They are, in fact, weak to the bow. As they should be. I wonder if they're weak to the flute. They're not supposed to be. They <coughs> the hint about them being weak to sound or hating sound or whatever it is. Which we will probably find. Dig Doggers, dig doggers loathe certain kinds of sound. Somewhere in this game, there's a hint about the Pole's voice, and it actually has nothing to do with the flute. It was the original Famicom version had a microphone on the second controller. You literally just, like, scream into the microphone and it kills them. Which is a neat mechanic. Obviously, it doesn't work on the NES. They did not have a microphone. I actually do not... No, I'm not unaware of any other Famicom games that used it. Oh. Oh, cool. Um... Take that. Okay, so I guess that does, just doesn't work. There's a hint originally about them not liking smoke, and it's actually like you can slash them or something if a bomb blows up in their face. I don't know. I've always killed them by them eating bombs. Okay. That's gonna get bad if they respawn. It's quite a bit harder to get them to just eat the bomb. Okay, just spawn on top of me, guy. It's cool. Well, that was nice of him. I was gonna go back for that fairy. Map. I will go ahead and get the map. Even though it's gonna cost me a key. Huh, and their death animations don't have a, uh... Wait, what hurt me? Okay, cool game. Lots of bombs. Whatever enemy it was in, uh... Dungeon 6. The death, death animation had, um... Was solid when I tried to walk into it. I guess it was a rip with rope. It's about the only thing I ever fought in Dungeon 6. Okay, so that also confirms that I do not have to kill all the enemies. I didn't check that last time when I was questioning it. I do not have to kill all the enemies to actually use the um, push blocks. Correction. Okay. Excuse me. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Okay. 
Huh. Nope. Just, okay, it's just this room. Alright. Why don't we get out of here? This, no, this has to be the flute. There cannot be anything else other than the flute, because Dig Dogger's in here. Yeah. Alright. Then we have that. Yeah, I would like to run into some Paul's voice and see if it works on them. I don't know if it will. Grab some of those bombs. Oh, there's a key! I don't know why there's a key. Okay. Oh, I'm not actually locked in here? Oh. Nope, you get away from me. I could have swore that, had, that room had shutters. And this one, actually. I don't know. Getting that I have rapid fire on the sword. Okay. Uh, I think that room. Oh, oh, spawn on top of me, why don't you? Oh, we got the uh, old voice. I were the flute, what button would I be? Six, apparently. No. Okay. Just checking. I'm still weak to the bow. You know you guys could have dropped hearts. Very ineffectual spawn points. There also has not been any uh, compasses in this game. I guess I don't know how you would do that on the Doom map. Huh, even the boomerang has rapid fire. All the keys, of course. Do you wish I carry more bombs? Why, yes, I do! I thought there were more of these in the... before as well, but I guess not. Okay. So, st straight left is the boss. Huh, interesting. The Triforce room is smaller than a regular room. Is that all of them? Nope. Okay, this is vulnerable. Follow the arrow mark to the end and you shall find... Well, that I'm unsure of. I think it's, um... on the overworld. When we get out of here, I'll take a look at it. I there's Dick Dogger. Immediate, cool. What's in this room? Just, just some Gibdos. Alright. So we are done here. This angle, I can't exactly tell that it's smaller. And not too bad. Finish that dungeon fairly quickly. Okay, well, okay. I guess the map isn't revealed. But I think it's 
to the left, no, yeah, to the left, the west, whatever, is, um, like an arrow made out of rocks, I think, no, yeah, yeah, it's like a couple of screens left, it's like just beyond where you get the uh, white sword, and that leads you to where uh, Spectacle Rock is at, I think. A dungeon. But then the only thing that would that's over there would be that. Okay, so we've already done six. Seven should be the lake, which we got a hint about last time in level... S yeah, level six. Yeah, well, we almost have that mapped. Yeah, okay. You can kind of see it there. Yeah. That arrow leads to Spectacle Rock, which I've already bombed open. That was right. And a P-Hat. Okay, where... Um... Down here? Nope. No P-Hats. Even though I said no, they just, that's all the spawn. This is not the way to go. I need to go to uh, the Lost Woods. You know what? Let's despawn stuff. Nope. Okay. Never mind. It worked on other enemies, but not the P-Hats. P-Hats are too powerful. I think. In this game, anyways. Rude! Yeah, the rapid fire really helps. I'm sure there's more uh, bushes I can burn and stuff I can bomb, but I genuinely don't think I need to find anything more now. Dungeons left, and I only need two more heart containers. I... I don't know about this game, but I know in the original you cannot get more than two rows. It's possible this game accounts for that, though. Alright. So, what we want is the... the lake without a fairy. It's not this one. I don't think I even went in there last time. But it would have been last time, whenever I came from here. Also, another hint is the enemy spawning here. Okay, that was... weird. Alright. We're definitely getting into the point where I am uncertain about... dungeon layouts. I mean, we have for a very long time, but... I heard something spawn. Oh, good, these things. That are oddly, oddly difficult to hit in this game. Yeah, the hitboxes are... Fairy. I thought it was another one of these things. Hitboxes are oddly weird. You gonna hit it? Come on. Okay. Dark room in here? I think we get the candle. I know I already had a candle. We get a better candle in this dungeon. Really? Huh. Okay, I guess that's sealed off. That's not the direction I thought I was facing. It's really hard to tell. 
put the textures on. Spitters are ruthless. I probably should not have picked that up. Okay, they at least stop whenever you're a room away. It's down here. Ropes. Okay, up here. Um... Jerks. Looks like it's gonna be more bombs. 100 for more bombs. Yes! A? Are you... I have unlimited bombs now. Oh, I thought they despawned. Are they actually stronger? It doesn't look like it. Well, screw you guys, I got bombs for days. Alright. I think I want to check the, uh, bottom right. I don't think I can actually get in there. Um... Sadness, I can't perpetually throw uh, the boomerang with along with my sword swings. Huh. Already as a regular enemy? Huh, I haven't seen these guys in a while. And a heart. That looked very weird. Okay. We got a dark room up here. Oh no, it's an old man. There's a secret in the tip of the nose. Sure there is. Skeletons are spawning on top of me. Okay. That's super weird. Like stutter, stop stuttering, starting back up. Ow. The problem with the automatic swing, though, is that you never have your shield back up. I guess we just go up now. More of these jerks. We're not immune to their own boomerangs. Well, I mean their own, sure. But not boomerangs. Stunning. They're not immune to stunning. What I'm trying to say. They do not stop once he's dead. 
they stop when I leave the room. They do not stop when I leave the room. Cool. More of these things. You may or may not be immune to the boomerang. I, I don't know. Bombs work. I can auto-fire bombs. That's not ridiculous at all. Okay. I don't see any path to the north here. Sure, of course you're back. Okay, so what if, whenever they respawn, the shutters do not also respawn. That is good to know. So I really should have just taken the, uh, the other trip, the full trip to uh, 6 after beating the boss to get the item. Huh. Oh, okay. Grumble, grumble. Is that... That was seven. Okay. Good? Okay, we're good. Ow. Rude. the map. Oh, there's a room to the north. Might as well infinite bombs. Sick cash money. And another bombable wall. Hmm. There's going to be a passage there's no access to those uh, three rooms down there. When did I get hurt? Whatever. There's hearts here. Let's uh, check in here. More of them. You know what? You all get the bombs. Not as effective as I thought it would be. Don't don't do that. Okay. So this is a dead end, so let's check in here. No good, more of these guys. And a fairy. And a key. Okay. There is no way to get infinite bombs in the original game. It's just something for this version. This game. This isn't a version. I... I'm gonna keep doing that. Why can I... Still pick up bombs, whatever. Okay, so I want to keep going, I think. I'm fairly certain that's going to take me to the boss. Did they spawn after the fact? What happened here? They must have spawned, uh, the opposite side I went through. Okay. Well, we know how to deal with these now. This also confirms that I am not affected. Why did that drop an item? Whatever. That also confirms that, uh... Why can I... 
Why can't I pick up some of the bombs? Whatever. But that also confirms that I am not affected by my own bombs. Why are you guys already respawning? Is it the direction I came into the room from? Is that what causes it? Okay, so the bombs that spawn when you clear a room I can't pick up. Bombs that the enemies drop I can, sure. I don't know why he took two flutes, flutings. Yeah, get shocked. I have infinite bombs and you cannot cope. I do not know if these things oh, get hit by the, uh... Sure, th thanks for that. Oh my god, bubbles. Please. Okay. We're good. Except I didn't pick up the heart. Oh. Oh, that's how you reach the boss. Okay, so I need to go back. Cool. Nope, not today. Well, that's a lot of them. Why were they not spawned before? The item is in here. And it is the candle. This is now an infinite use candle. I haven't tried. The, I wonder if the flames hurt enemies, too. They do, in fact, hurt enemies. Okay, so that's also a pretty good weapon. Okay, so I don't know how that works. Of course you spawned on top of me, why wouldn't you? Of course you spawned on top of me, why wouldn't you? if I could, uh... No. Sword beam. They just respawn at... Whatever. No, it's over this way. What? Oh! Okay, Patra? Am I even hurting this? Wait, I stun the middle one. Why do I stun this? What? Why am I not hurting this? Really? Also, did not realize I could just hold down the button. That's actually really nice to know. 
Is this another just another case of weird hitboxes? Okay, I think it yeah it is. No, I think it's actually that the uh the swing sound is overriding the damage sound on them. Alright, that wasn't too bad. They're usually more painful. Alright then. What? I don't need your guys' help. Okay. So we are right at time. I am going to uh, make a dash for the next level. I know where it's at. I've already opened it up, in fact. And then we will uh, stop there. I think we'll actually stop inside, because it probably going to be relatively dangerous outside. Let me get my bearings real quick. Cannot tell where I'm at. Tried to spawn on top of me? Hey, there's a burnable bush. Let's burn the bush. And it's a secret to everybody. That is a lot of money. Okay. I will take your secret. Um. Oh, okay. I can, I can see it on the map. Once again, they just spawn on top of me. Cool. Cool. I didn't need that heart. I mean, I got a replacement, but... Okay. Alright. There we go. So yeah, we will uh, pick up here next time. But that is going to be it for this part. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick around for more. And thanks for watching.